I was trying to type out a response to this and I was just getting really frustrated at TikTok's ridiculous character limit, so I decided to just do a video response. Um, so unfortunately, yes, in an ideal world, I would not have to have any concerns with, you know, trying to find someone to collaborate with who isn't, like I said in the video that this is a comment on, um, that isn't afraid that uh, being seen with someone like me, a creator like me, who dares to not wear makeup um, and, you know, not shave my legs and stuff, which unfortunately, due to our sexist society, um, does cause concern, if not physical revulsion, um, in a lot of people, which is fucking insane. It's just body hair. Um, however, the reality is that people, there's a reason people like me don't, uh, escape the confines of constantly getting banned and shadow banned and suppressed, etc. Um, just based on our own material. Um, and the problem is that not wearing makeup, not shaving our legs, etc. doesn't support capitalism. It's not, you know, when you shave your legs, you're buying razors. When you put on makeup, you're buying the makeup. And so it doesn't serve capitalism if we just let our bodies be bodies. Um, by the way, I don't hate people who do shave their legs or wear makeup or whatever. Like, I do it too sometimes. What I hate is society saying, oh, you're female, therefore you have to put on makeup. You have to shave your legs. You have to do this. You have to do that. Fuck that. Anyway, back to the point. The frustration is that people like me do not go mainstream. Um, and the problem with not going mainstream is that, again, I'm shouting into the void. And the only way we can ever change anything is if a lot of people are speaking out against the insanity of, of sexism, beauty standards only applied to women. Um, and of course, the main point of my, my content, which is gender based censorship, a.k.a. Uh, male nipples are allowed to exist in any fucking form. They can literally be playing with their nipples on screen and it's fine, but I can't sit here without a shirt on with my nipples visible without me getting banned as sexually explicit to say nothing of, you know, large breasted female uh, Twitch streamers, deep throating ear shaped mics and calling it asthma and all that stuff. <sighs> anyway, in an ideal world, I wouldn't have to worry about, am I going to be considered brand friendly or not? Um, but I've been doing this whole thing alone. I have never been sponsored. I have never managed to get a large creator to ever go on camera with me and say, yes, I support ending gender-based censorship, aka free the nipple, topless quality, etc. Um, because being a creator is their job. And I understand it. I understand that their bread and butter is um, playing in, playing within the capitalistic, uh, you know, guidelines of, well, you can, you can advocate for certain causes, but they, they have to be brand friendly. Like we're only, we're, we're only a little bit okay with you saying that gay people deserve to get married. And we, we were kind of okay with trans people, but then all the Republicans started to push against it. So now we've decided that, you know, Target's going to put their gay stuff in the back, if, if at all, um, after, uh, anyway, I'm getting out of the point. <sighs> yes. Again. I would love, I would love if I didn't have to have any concern about um, my, uh, whether my content is too brand abhor abhorrent or not. Um, but I've been an out outspoken, you know, feminist, uh, challenging the patriarchy, challenging capitalism or whatever for 10 years. And there's a reason that nobody knows about me. <laughs> there's a reason that I've never been front page. There's a reason why my content is constantly banned. Um, so yeah, anyway, that was a bit of a ramble. Sorry. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs>